What's going on people and welcome to my match recap and player ratings from yesterday's game, England versus Italy. I actually predicted 0-0. Again, we still can't beat Italy after that European final of last year when they beat us. They have changed their team round drastically. There was no Bonucci, there was no Insigne, there was no Immobile, there was no um, what's it, Berardi, there was no Chiellini. There was there was a lot out. There was no Verratti. The list goes on. They've changed their they changed their team around so much, and we still can't beat them. And we've got more of a, a squad of the same squad of last year, and it's in England again, and we still can't beat them. And and it just says everything. I predicted a nil nil, and it was that. I think we did play better in this game than against Germany, but it's still nowhere near good enough for what we should be playing to the level of what we should be playing at. And the excitement of it and the style of play. Like, it's just atrocious. I'll get into the player ratings in a minute, but there was a few I had just above an average. Um, and then the others got averages and just below an average. Um, I do think, as I said, it was a better overall performance than the Germany game. But we're still miles off it. If we're fifth ranked in the world at the moment, in the world rankings, how are we? Because Germany are ranked like 12th. And we were lucky to get a draw with them the other day. So... I don't understand how we're that high up in the rankings anyway. And again, like I said, Italy have actually evolved and changed their team around since they won the final last year. A lot younger team coming in now and players getting chances that weren't even in the squad last year, a lot of them. And they're still, do you know what I mean? They still could have beat us. And it's a huge problem. Um, it shows the mindset and the mentality of the players. And we're still bottom of the group. And I don't think it bodes well for the World Cup either. Gallagher, again, didn't get on the pitch yesterday. I will give Southgate credit in terms of he did switch the, the starting lineup a bit, but there were still players in there that shouldn't be playing. But he did switch it around quite a bit, so I'll give him his credit for that. But again, we, like, we still didn't get the points we needed to. And there's still players that, like Gallagher. Like, I don't understand why he still ain't got a chance yet. Into the, the match ratings, Ramsdale, for me, he would be my number one pick over Pickford anyway. Um, I thought he was above average, I'll give him a 6, he made a couple decent saves um, and I thought his distribution was a lot better than Pickford's. Um, I think he had a good debut in terms of the, the Nations League games so far, um, but I don't think he was brilliant, but I think he was above average, so I'd give him a 6. Rhys James, I'd give him a 6 as well, I thought he put in a very good ball for the Sterling chance, where Sterling puts it over the bar somehow, it has to score that, um, so Rhys James should have had an assist. And after that penalty incident against Germany the other day, he definitely made up for it, I thought. A uh, very good performance. I'd also give Rhys James a six. Tomori, um, I'd been waiting for him to get a chance, and I think he did well. Didn't really make any mistakes. There was one point where they put a cross into the box, and he kind of miscued it a little bit, but, and it looped up, but nothing come of it. And after that, I thought he was better out of him and Maguire at the centre-back position. Um, and I think he had a good debut. So six for Tomore for me. Or Tomori. Uh, Maguire, five. I thought he was better than the Germany game. But I don't think he was brilliant. Um, but I would give him an average. I don't think he made anywhere near as much mistakes as he did in the Germany game. But I still don't think he should be anywhere near the squad. But I would give him an average. Trippier, five as well. Um, I thought he was a bit quiet, to be honest. So just an average for me with Trippier. Ward-Prowse, I'm glad he got a chance. But I feel like he had an average game as well. I don't think he got on the ball enough. I feel like he just got bypassed a bit during the game and, and kind of come in and out of the game too much. And I, like I said, I don't think he got on the ball enough. So a five for Ward-Prowse. Declan Rice, I give him a six. I thought he was very busy in the midfield. I thought he'd done a better job against Italy than he did against Germany. But I think that he did have a better game in this one, so I'd give him a six. Sterling, I thought he was the worst on the pitch, to be honest, even through the Italian team as well. Should have scored the chance. And I felt his performance just got worse and worse as the game went on. Um, from someone that had a brilliant tournament in the Euros like he did, I think he's fell off a cliff. Um, and I thought he was poor in this game. So for me, a three, and he should score that cross from Reese James. Um, three for Sterling. Abraham, I'd give him a six. I've been waiting for Tammy to get his chance. He's always going to be difficult when you're the backup for Kane to get a chance. And even though he didn't score and didn't really have any clear-cut chances, I feel like his overall play and his link-up play with the midfielders was really good. And I thought he looked lively. And I think it worked better in terms of fluidity, even with Kane out of the team. So he didn't really get a chance. And that was a shame. 
but I, I liked the link-up play that he offered. I felt like he did more work off the ball than Kane does. So, very pleased with it, other than the goal. Six for Abraham. Grealish, a six. Again, he got on the ball a lot. Probably needed him a little bit more around the box on the ball. Um, he did have his moments, but unfortunately we couldn't get the three points. But I think he, he, did, he had an okay game, and I'd give him a six, just above average. Mason Mount, again, before his link-up play with the likes of Grealish, Abraham and Sterling at times was good. We might be wanting a little bit more from him, but I'm seeing a lot of people giving him unjustified hate, I think, at the moment. And I think he was all right yesterday again. I know he could influence a bit more than he does, but I feel like he he weren't the worst player on the pitch. And I think like he was he was reasonable. So I did give him an above average because I feel like he had a good game, even though he didn't get an assist or a goal. But I do think he had a good game, so I'd give him a six. And then for the subs, we had Gray come on for Tamori. I thought Gray looked good when he come on. Um, didn't put a foot wrong, really. But I don't think he really, like, stood out. But I thought he did a solid job, so I'd give him an average of a five. Uh, Phillips come on for Rice. And I thought... <laughs> he, uh, he wasn't terrible, but I did give him a below average performance. I feel like he... He lost the ball a few times. His passing wasn't brilliant, I don't think. Someone put a stat up that he had 98% like accurate passing or something from the game when he came on. But I saw him lose the ball a couple of times. And I did see him, I think, put some misplaced passes. So you can throw the stats at me all you want. I watch games on what I see. And I don't think he was any better than Rice. And I thought he was below average, to be honest. So I'd give Phillips a four. Saka, a four as well. I didn't really think he got into the game when he came on for Sterling. But I do think Sterling needed to go off. Um, but I don't think Saka really impacted the game uh, like he did recently um, when he came on. So I'd give him a four. Kane, a four. He just wants to drop deep too much all the time now for me. I know he does it for Tottenham and it works. But it's not working at the moment when he does it for England. And it's a different setup and system. So I feel like... I just want him to stay up front, to be honest. And yes, he could drop back into, I don't know, that, that number 10 spot at times. But when he's going to the halfway line and and at centre-back positions and centre-defensive midfield roles, it's very rare that you're going to pick up an assist from there because of the style of football we play anyway. So i just like him to stay in the number 9 position and stop drifting. So I, I don't think he impacted when he came on and I thought Abraham had a better game than him. So I'd give Kane a 4. And then lastly, Bowen come on for Mount, and I thought that Bowen had uh, a reasonable good um, performance when he came on. I, I thought he was lively. I'd give him a six also. If I'm going to give a man of the match, I don't think anyone stood out, but I'd probably give man of the match to... I'd probably go Ramsdale or... Probably Reese, um, And then maybe maybe Abraham. I, I think I'll give it to... I'm going to give it to Reese because he should have had an assist for the Sterling chance and Sterling just let him down with a finish. So I'm going to give man of the match to Reese because I feel like he should have had an assist and I would have bumped up his rating for that if he had got that, but it didn't work out like that. But man of the match, Reese James for me, but none of them really stood out to me. Um, a few of them above average, as I said, but most of the squad are above average, I feel like. But again, we didn't get the three points, which we much needed. And I don't think it bodes well for the World Cup. Because we're just not performing at the level that you want to be performing at and getting results leading up to a competition like that. So, Southgate ain't the man for me. He's done a good job in other tournaments, but we haven't won nothing still. No one's going to remember the runners-up for the Euros in your own backyard. And if we can't win it in our own backyard, how are we going to win a World Cup in someone else's country? I can't see it. And, and because of the style of football we play as well, I'd rather we take more risks and go out early in the competition. Just enjoying the football more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. I'll speak to you soon.